This is another episode of Friday Sales. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, KGFL Creations. My name is Karen. Today I am going to show you my new blouse. I told you before I was going to do the Rhapsody blouse, but then I changed my mind because I already made a couple of Rhapsodies before. I made the uh, Rhapsody dress, well, I made one for me and I made one for my daughter. So I had this very, very um, thin, it, it's pretty thin fabric. I think this is polyester, but it doesn't feel that hot, so I'm not sure. This was a Walmart bundle, so I don't know what it is but it is so, so pretty, nice and soft. So I decided to do the Ballad Blouse by Love Notions. As you can see here, this came out so, so perfect. That's all I'm gonna say, perfect. I am going to back up a little bit so you can see it. Here, this portion right here came out really, really nice and this is the back. As you can see, I don't know if you can notice, my, uh, my daughter noticed that I did the yoke the other way. Because here, the, uh, the little, uh, um, I don't know if this is a, a little zigzag type going on. Yeah, I think so. She didn't like it. She's like, why, why did you have to do that? Why did you have to go vertical instead of just doing the whole thing? I'm like, well, that was the intention. I just wanted to do something different. Actually, on the inside is the same uh, going like this, but I wanted to do something different on the outside. She didn't like it, but that's okay. It's my blouse and I like it, so it, it's, it's, it's good. So this one here, I did a extra large, which is my, um, I now found that that is my size with Love Notions. Everything that I do, extra large, it fits me perfectly here. You see right here? It hits at the right spot. I hope you can see it right here. Right spot. So it fits perfectly. Look at this placket. It just lays so flat. Here at the bottom, it's kind of going up a little bit, I think, because this is such a thin, thin fabric. And the little placket here, I had to add interfacing and I used a very thin interfacing. But still, it kind of goes up a little bit. I think it's because of the interfacing that kind of did this to the fabric. But it, it lays really, really flat. I love these, um, the flutter sleeves. Look at this, how it is so cute. I, as always, I always have to lengthen. And I did a one inch on this one. So I am very, very happy with the one inch that I added to um, the uh, flutter sleeve on this one, right there. I mean, the only, only one little thing I am going to say about this, because in the back, I think it has too much of a volume. You see right here, it's way, way, way much right there. So maybe next time that I make one, I will uh, maybe take about uh, when this is cut on the fold, so maybe I'll take a one inch on the fold, so it'll be like a two inch, so it's not as voluminous in the back here. But maybe also because this is such a lightweight fabric, maybe that's why it's doing that. I don't know, but it's a bit, it's a little bit too much for me. Right. I hope you can see it right there. You see, holding it but it came out perfect. I love the uh, shirt tail hem right here. It gives a nice definition, you know, to the hip. Now I am liking that very much. I am going to put my glasses so I can tell you all about this pattern. I still have it here. It's not in a bag and all of this stuff that's kind of put everything inside here so I can, I have to get a, uh, bag so I can put it in or maybe I won't put it in a bag because I might want to do it again. Okay, so this is the Ballad blouse by Love Notions and I did this view right here, the one with the flutter sleeves. 
Okay, so this is ladies from an extra small to a 5X. Uh, it has a functional button placket, which is this right here. Actually, when I put it on, I didn't even have to open this. This is pretty wide. So it depends on um, if you want to, maybe just opening this one here is enough to just put it on. Um, it has five sleeve options. A sleeveless, a puff, a flutter, a bishop, and a short sleeve with the cup, with the cuff. Um, I if one day I do it, I do like the uh, the one with the little with the um, which one is that? I think that's the puff. Yeah, this one here. That's the little puff sleeve. So I like that one too. I don't know if I'll do the maybe the bishop. I could do that, but it's long sleeves and talk here <laughs> and it has the sheer the sheared or gathered detail options it also has a full bust option as usual I just did the uh, standard bust that was fine for me um, yeah this was really really nice the only I only had one problem the shearing um, up here it comes with a where is it It comes with this thing here so you can sure make the little uh, thing. But when I cut this, I cut it to the extra large, but there was another, another maybe like four, no, more than this, to this side right here. But I'm like, oh, I see the extra large, I'm just gonna cut it. And so uh, I cut it and I made my piece this much. It was not enough. It was not enough. So, I did the whole thing. I I bought the um, the elastic. It was the Gutterman. This one here, the little elastic. I went through two of these to do this uh, top here. This thing here was not enough, and uh, so I made the whole thing, all of the little lines, all of the little lines, and I was measuring against this little guy here. So I can could get the height. That was not the problem. The problem is when I went to steam it and iron it, it went like this. It ended up being maybe this much. So it shrank like crazy. So not even if I would fold the little bit that I had, it did not, it was not enough to cut two of these because I had to fold it. It had to be a mirror of this. So that was not enough. So I had to make another one. And I had to cut the fabric in the same, the same piece with the same, because um, as you can see, this has some different uh, lines right here. So I had to, good thing that I still had some fabric left over. So I went in and I cut the same size of it and I made another patch. I don't know if that's a patch. The, uh, to, so I can cut two of these babies. But now, next time that I do this, I will add another, I don't know, maybe five or six inches to this because it got really, really close. I was out by this much with the folded fabric. So maybe another five or six inches to this, it will be enough um, to do that. I don't know if maybe it was the fabric or, I don't know. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't enough to cut it. But I just made another one of these. I had to sew the whole thing. And this is just amazing that you, when you're sewing, when you're in the machine doing this with the uh, with the elastic in the bobbin, I put it by hand. I just went like this and put it by hand, by hand, by hand. It looks a little bit shirred. It does look, but it doesn't look this tight. It happens when you put the iron on top. As soon as you put the iron on top with the steam, it goes like, and it's so cute. It's so nice to see it. I love, I'm like, whoa, what happened to this thing? <laughs> but after that, I cut two little things of this and I did the uh, everything that they told you to do for this here, for the back, for the uh, yolk. It's a double yolk and you do the burrito method. I have done that before with the many of the Rhapsodies that I've done in the past. And uh, the only, it wasn't difficult. 
it was just putting this thing here and you have to iron to make the um the harder one was doing this little corner this corner right here not this corner here this was harder for me i don't know why making this inside corner right there so i had to do a little cut fold and make sure that everything looked okay and i just love it this here came out so so pretty so did a little close up for you guys to see so so pretty so i really 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 like this blouse it is so so pretty so i guess i am going to wear this to work next week see so so pretty okay now let's talk a little bit about uh my plans for next week i don't have anything planned don't know what i'm going to do i'll ask my daughter actually you know what there's something that i need to do i don't know if you guys remember the little um uh the eco bags that i made i made the uh like a sew along i made six of those bags actually i gave one to my sister but my husband has been bugging me to do a little um something that for me to put in behind the um, passenger seat in the car and so i can put them in there so they're not kind of like laying around in the back of the um in the passenger seat of the car so I think I'm going to do that for him because he's been bugging me and when he starts bugging me, it's just, yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with that. So I might just, I'm gonna have to measure and get the measurement of the bags. It's gonna be kind of like what the ones that you put your shoes, the one that hangs behind the door with the little uh, pouches that you put your shoes in there, something like that. That's all I'm going to do. And then it's going to be tied in the back on the top and I might just put an elastic at the bottom so it will go towards the front so it stays in, no problem. So I can put my little baggies in there so when we go to the supermarket, they're all there and we have our bags when we go to Costco or BJ's. So I think I'm going to do that or maybe if I find something else, a dress or something that I really want to do, I might just do that instead. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes it's good not to have plans so whenever you want to feel you feel like doing something you can just go ahead and, and do it right i want to thank you all for sticking with me until the end of this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you can also please subscribe it will help me out a lot it will help me to grow this channel because that's what we need and we need a lot of views and we need subscribers so youtube can pick it up and just put it in front of people just going 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 i am still learning about this whole youtube thing and learning about how to edit the videos so i am not sure actually the sun is coming in right now wow it's been very dark today so the sun is coming in and i think i'm gonna have to finish this video right now i will see you guys next week on my next video bye